So this is a quick video about the poly fuses on the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you have one of the older boards like me, we have these little USB poly fuses here, which um, they pretty much limit how much power can go to a USB device. Uh, the problem with that is if you try and run something like a wireless card, like wireless USB, um, a lot of the time it won't get enough power because of these fuses. Uh, and if you're doing what I'm doing, which is running a micro like Bluetooth dongle, and then this beefy Wi-Fi card with this uh, big antenna on it, then it just won't work basically. The, the Pi will start up, uh, it will run for about 20 or 30 seconds, and then it will reboot, reboot, reboot. Now, the way to fix this, um, they've already fixed this on the newer boards by removing these fuses, the way to do it is to basically short them out. So, um, you can do this however you want, but essentially you just need to make sure that that side is joined with that side so you can solder across or um, I don't know if you can do it underneath uh, but the easiest way to test this to see if that is the reason why you're having problems is to get some of these crocodile clips and just if I can uh, zoom in a bit for you let me just focus okay so you clip it either side so basically that's going to short circuit that fuse and make it redundant basically it won't be used and then you do the same to this one here and uh, you just leave that one in the middle, that's not related. And now if I plug in my power supply, um, try and do this with one hand. Uh, okay, one sec. I'll just have to put the camera down for a moment. Okay, power supply is in and you see that it's booting up as normal and this time instead of keep rebooting it will um, it will just work basically and I can use uh, I can use my USB Wi-Fi and uh, the Bluetooth at the same time uh, obviously this isn't a long-term solution because these can fall off quite easily uh, this is just a way to test if the poly fuses are what causing your problem um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off now and I'm going to just put a bit of solder across the uh, the two points. So let me just unplug that. So yeah, I'm going to remove these and just uh, basically, let me focus, put a blob of solder between those two contacts and then the same there. And uh, I'll be able to run my, you know, more beefy USB devices. So um, the reason why I'm just making this video, it's obvious and there's a few tutorials out there, is that I looked on YouTube um, and I didn't see I didn't see any instructions about how to do it. So I just wanted to make sure before I did it. Uh, you can see I've also cut my SD card um, because in modern or most modern SD cards, the chip is only actually in that little section there and then the rest is just empty casing. So uh, I was able to cut that and then it means that once my SD card is put in here it's, it's flush with the Pi so because um, I'm going to put this inside a case it's a lot better than having a SD card sticking out so yeah that's it thank you